to SKC online classes and I am your math teacher and students as we are uh, doing chapter 3 and today we are going to start third topic and the name of third topic is logarithm it's mean in this video we will learn about the laws of the logarithm so better these are the four main laws that we'll use in the uh, new exercise okay it's mean look at here log of a means base a and m and n are the two any numbers they are variables that and they may be any numbers so m and n there are no any sign between these two uh, variables it's mean they are multiply so when we will apply the log of multiplication term it will become convert into the multi uh, sorry additions the multiplication will convert into the addition sign so uh, we can check here log of a and then m and then the multiplication will convert into the addition sign we will write addition sign plus sign and then log of a and then we will write the second number or second variable what is beta okay okay in the now come the second law the second law log of a and then m n means the variables are dividing one another and they may be numbers so when we will apply the log on division numbers on dividing numbers then after applying the log the division sign will convert into the subtraction sign is multiplication will convert into the addition and division sign will convert into the subtraction sign and the third law is log of e m e base e m and power n so when we will apply the log on this type of number so the power will write in front of the variable after applying the log or so the next log will same then we can write log of e n it can be read just like this one fine what did better so these are the four main laws so we will uh, solve exercise 3.3 according to this four laws okay now come on the question number one of page 70 then of page number 70 and question number one and the question number one is write the following into the sum or differences means how we can write into the sum or differences according to law so the first question number one and the first part is log of a multiply b so a and b are multiply so beta as we know that as we have already discussed the laws of the logarithm that when we will apply the log on multiplication terms then multiplication sign will convert into the plus sign so apply the log open the bracket log will apply first on a it will become log of a then multiplication will convert into the addition sign after applying the log fine then log will apply on the b term so it will become log of b and this is your final answer got it beta okay now come on the second part second part is log of 15 Point 0.2 divided by 30.5 so apply the log on these both the terms they are dividing so when we will apply the log on these terms first log will apply the first terms on the numerator 15.2 you will write then division sign will convert into the subtraction sign it means we will subtract subtraction sign then log will apply on the denominator it will become log of 30.5 and I think you also know that how we can find the log of these numbers so you can find the log of these numbers uh, by using the calculator so first you will write the log sign first you you will press the log key and then you will write 15.2 and then equal sign then you will get the log of 15.2 minus then you will find the log of 30.5 and then in the second step you will subtract this number from this one and then you will get the final answer got it beta okay now 
come on the third part i will give you some hints about this part so you will do by yourself so if 21 multiply 5 divide by 8 so look at here the first in the numerator there are two number and they are multiply so first we will apply the law on numerator complete numerator so we will write numerator have more than one digit which means we will use the small bracket 21 multiply 5 then division sign will convert into the subtraction sign and then log will apply on the denominator log of 8 now in the next step open the bracket and then log will apply each term inside the bracket so log 21 and then multiplication will convert into the addition sign then log will apply on the 5 it will become log of 5 minus log of 8 then you will you find the log of 21 log of 5 log of 8 by using the calculator then you will subtract and add and find out the final answer got it peter okay now fourth part log of cube root of 7 divided by 15 cube root so it can be right log of 7 divided by 15 and power 1 by 3 cube root can be right 1 by 3 as we know that the value of the cube root is 1 by 3 so it can be right fine so according to third law of logarithm the power when we will apply the log on this term on the power term then power will write in front of the log first 1 by 3 then log of 7 divided by 15 then it can be write 1 by 3 apply the log on this term so we know that these two terms are divided log of 7 minus log of 15 so first you will find the log of 7 value then you will find the log of 15 value then you will subtract and divide by 3 then you will get final answer got it okay similarly the fifth part and sixth part they are seen so do the practice of these two parts okay now question number two come on the question number two in the question number two is express log of x minus two log of x plus three log of x plus one then minus log of x square plus minus 1 sorry as a single logarithm they are saying that express this all the terms in single logarithm so how we can express so log of x and then first we will arrange the uh, these are the terms so we can write log of x first then write down the third term 3 log of x plus 1 and then write on the second term minus 2 log of x then write on the fourth term now look at here log of x plus 3 log of x plus 1 so write down in the bracket it can be write into the bracket then minus write down these two term in to the bracket also so when we will write 
when we will use the brackets the sign in front of the bracket will change the minus will convert into plus why because when we will open the bracket again we will obtain same sign just minus minus plus minus fine so so keep in mind when we will use the brackets then the sign in front inside the brackets will change the plus will convert into the minus sign and minus will convert into the plus sign so log of x plus look at here 3 is in the front of log it means it can be write log of x plus 1 power 3 yes according to law minus the number in front of the log it can be write into the power form log x 2 plus log of x square minus 1 then bracket close okay log of x then plus log of x plus 3 x plus 1 power 3 so take the log common then inside just x will left and plus will convert into the minus uh, sorry plus will convert into the multiplication sign yes when we will take the com log common so x and then the next term is x plus 1 q they will write into the multiplication form after taking the common log so no we will take the log here common then x square and x square minus 1 will write in the, into the product form because the plus will convert into the multiplication sign so there are no any one sign it means they are multiplied no again take the log common from these two terms then this the minus show us that there are they are divided they will divide it so x square and x square minus 1 yes so x will cancel with the power so final log of x plus 1 whole cube divided by x into x square minus 1 this is your final answer and this is single term of log got it beta ok now do the practice of this question in your notebook ok now come on to question number 3 Question number 3 Write the following into the form of single logarithm Single again single logarithm First part Log of 21 Plus log of 5 So they are saying that There are two terms of logarithm So write down into the single term So how we can write Take the log common then look at here there are plus sign it means this plus sign will convert into the multiplication so these are two terms and they will multiply and so multiply these two terms and then find out the logarithm of this 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 it means you will find the log of 105 and that was that will be your final answer this will better Okay, similarly, you will find the second, third, and fourth part. So, go, you will do second, third, and fourth part by yourself. Okay, now question number four. Come on the question number four. Question number four. First part, calculate the following. Log of three base and then two multiply log of two base eighty one so they are saying that find out the value of this one so better look it here keep in mind the log of two mean base three and two when 
the logo first number and the log the next base of the next log the number in front of the log and the base of the second log will seem here look at here two and two same so it can be write log of 381 log of 381 it can be right got it better so log of 3 you will suppose that let you will find the value of this one so let x is equal to this number log of base 381 then this is the logarithm form so first we will convert into the exponential form as as we know that how we can convert a logarithm form into the exponential form as we have already done 3.2 exercise so it can be right the power base will become the power of the variable x sorry the base will write here base first and then after the equal will become power and then equal to 81 so 3 power what is equal to 81 3 power x is equal to 81 you will find the factor okay you will find the factor of 81 3 2 is a 6 3 7 is a 21 3 9 is a 27 3 3 is a 9 and 3 1 is a 3 it means 3 power 4 is equal to 81 so base are same it means power will equal and x is equal to 4 this is your final answer got it better now you will do the second part by yourself come on to question number 6 sorry come on to question number 5 question number 5 Question number 5. If log of 2 is equal to log of 2 is equal to 0 0.3010 and log of 3 is equal to 0 0.4771 and then log of 5 is equal to 0 0.6990. Then we are saying that find out the log of 31, 32, log of 30, 24, log of the square root of 3 whole 1 by 3, log of 8 by 3, log of 30. These are the given numbers. So the first I will do the second part log of 24. So simply beta you will write log and then you will find the factor of 24. 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 6s are 12, 2 3s are 6, and then 3 1s are 3. So it means 2 the power 3 multiply 3. Now apply the log 2 power 3 first multiply log of 3. So power can be right. In front of log multiply sorry multiply will convert into the addition sign write down here addition addition then log of 3 no you will find the log of 2 and so no you will put the value of log of 2 so 3 and then log of 2 is 0 0.3010 then plus sign log of 3 is equal to 0 0.4771 then multiply these two numbers and then add 0 0.4771 you will get the final answer understood better okay now come on the third part how we'll do the third part of question 5 log of 3 whole 1 by 3 so log of it 
can be write three whole one by three power one by three. So power we write in front of log. Three three is a nine. Convert this mixed number into the fraction form. Three three is a nine and ten. Ten by three. Now one by two. Then apply the log in both the numbers. So it can be write log of ten minus log of this division sign will convert into the multi subtraction sign log of three. Now one by two you will find the factor of ten. Two fives are ten and five fives are five. So it's mean two. 5 is the multiplication of 2 and 5 minus log of 3. Then 1 by 2, apply the log on these both the numbers. The multiplication will convert into the additions and log of 2 plus log of 5 minus log of 3. So you will put the value of log of 2, log of 5 and log of 3. Then add and subtract and then you will divide by the 2. Got it better? Okay, so it's your test task. Complete this question. In the next, all the parts are your homework. They are, these are so, so easy. Understood, beta? No comment. The exercise three point four now, and the, the exercise three point four. The question number one. In the question number one, they are saying use log table to find the value of this one. In log table. So the first part, there are eight part so i will do any one any two part out of eight then rest all the parts you will do yourself so the first part is 0 0.8176 multiply 13.64 we can do this question so you will suppose that let x is equal to this 0 0.8176 multiply 13.64 then you will apply log on both side apply the log on both side then log of x is equal to log of write on this both the numbers into the bracket 8176 multiply 13.64 then open the brackets and the log will apply each term inside the bracket so log of 0 0.8176 multiplication will convert into the plus sign then log of 13.64. Now if you have table then you can use the table and find out the log of this number and this number. But if you haven't any log table then you will use the calculator. You will you, um, find the value of log of this number and then log of this number by using the calculator and then add these two numbers. Fine. When the log will move another side, it will become anti log. Anti log of that number. Then you will first press the shift key and then log key on the calculator, and then you will write that number. You will get your final x value. Got it, beta? Okay. Come on the second question. Question number. Two. Question number two, a gas is expanding according to the law PV power N is equal to C. Then find out C. They are saying that find C when P is equal to 80 and V is equal to 3.1. Three point one and n is equal to five by four. Now, how we can find the c? The given function is p power p v power n is equal to c. So apply the log on both sides. So log you will write the statement. Apply the log on both sides. Log p v power n is equal to log of c. Then P and V power N and the sign between P and V is multiply. So log will apply first these two terms. It will become log of P then multiply will convert into the plus sign log of V power N. 
is equal to log of c then log of p plus n will come in front of the log log of v is equal to log of c no put the value of log of p 80 given value of log of p is 80 n is equal to 5 by 4 and log of v is equal to sorry log of p is equal to this one log of v is equal to 3.1 equal to log of c then you will find the log of 80 value and you will write here then plus 5 by 4 you will find the log of 3.1 you will write here then you will solve these two you will solve the left hand side 5 will multiply that value and then 4 will divide and then in the next step you will add these two numbers and when you will get a final solution log of c you will write just like this one then as we are finding the value of c as we are finding the value of c so c will left here and then log will move another side and it will become anti-log of that number then you will find the anti-log of that number and that will be your final answer this is your task complete this question in your notebook got it beta okay now come on the question number three Question number three. The formula P is equal to ninety, then bracket F power minus Q by ten applies to the remark of a product where Q is the number of unit, number of units, and P is the price of one unit. Fine. And how many units will the will be demand if the price is less 80 price mean you will put the value of p is equal to 18 then you will find the you will apply the log on both side log 90 and 5 power minus q by 10 then 90 and 5 they are multiplied so apply the log first 90 and then plus the power will write in front of the log minus q by 10 log of 5. Then log of minus plus minus q by 10 log of 5 and log of p. Then p price mean the given price is 18 then you will put the value of log of p here log of 90 minus q you will find the value of q 10 log of 5 so find out the value of log of 18 log of 90 log of 5 then solve this question and find out the q value it's your task got it Peter? okay now come on the question number four question number four if a is equal to pi r square, find a when pi is equal to 22 by 7, this is the fixed value of pi, and r is equal to 15. Now find out the value of a. How we can find? So first, as usual, we will apply the log on both sides, log of a, then log of pi r square log of pi and r they are different variables so log of pi plus when we will apply the log on r square so power will write in front of the log r and log of a log of a is equal to put the value of pi here log of 22 by 7 so plus 2 log of r is equal to log of 15 r is equal to 15 fine no log of 22 by 7 
is equal to 3.14 so plus 2 log of 15 so you will find the value of log of this one and log of 15 then log of 15 will multiply the value of log of 15 will multiply with 2 fine then they will add in the next step these two numbers and as we are finding a value of a so leave the a here and then log will move another side it will become anti log and you know that how we can find the anti log first you will press the shift key on the calculator then you will write the press log key and then you will write that number and find out the anti log of final answer got it beta it's your task now do the practice of these other questions the next fifth part you see first you will apply the log and then you will find the value of v got it beta now do the practice of these other questions in your notebook thank you